Today we are gonna combine GPT-3 with computer vision. That means that we can get some really cool things done by analyzing our images. So with the help from GPT-3, we can get some funny things back like Michael Scott jokes. And you were directly under her the entire time. That's what she said. Excuse me? That's what she said. We can create memes from the images, but we can also use it to do useful things like listing up all the items in an image. We can analyze the body language of people in the images, and we can even write some art critiques. So let's just get started. So let's just start by looking at what is computer vision. So computer vision is a technology that gives computers like the ability to see and understand a bit about the world around them. So just like we do. So with computer vision, computers can recognize objects, people and even emotions in images. And they can read text from signs. They can even count the number of people in images. How these wor works are like by using algorithms and models to analyze and interpret the visual data that they are fed. And these algorithms and models are of course trained on a large amount of data. Basically just like any other AI model. And models we know like GPT-3 and Midjourney, Dolly 2 and all of those. So now that we know a bit more about computer vision let's find out how we can use it so there are many ways we can use computer vision but today we're going to look at how we can incorporate that into a python script so we're going to use the azure computer vision api combining it with the openai's gpt3 and here you can see i've created this computer vision function so this is just going to take a url and it's going to call on the api and it's going to take a look at the image we put in the url then we can use that result again to with GPT-3, we can write a description from the image. We can write a detailed list. We can write a Michael Scott joke about the image. We can create a meme. We can write an art critique. And we can even write a body language analysis of a person. So this is the script we're going to run with today. So let's just see how this works. Since we need an image URL, I just like to do that on Discord. So I can just click the plus sign, upload a file. Let's pick this one and just hit enter. So here we have our image. Just click on it, right click, and we can just copy our URL, head over to our script. And then it's just replacing this URL here and hit save. And then we can run the script. Okay, so when I run the script now, the computer vision is going to take a look at the image of the girl with all the McDonald's food, the burgers, the fries and everything. And it's going to use GPT-3 to write a description, as we can see here. That's the description done and we're gonna do some michael scott jokes and we're gonna do some memes so let's see what we have here uh person in the image look at this tray of hot dogs it's just too full you really know how to overfill a plate that's what she said well that sort of variety can really satis can be really satisfying that's what she said that cheeseburger looks huge your pack goes the extra mile that's for sure that's what she said. I don't know. Is that funny? I can't really tell. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at some memes here. You can buy healthy food. As if. Sometimes totally healthy needs a bit of an upgrade. Okay. Stop trying to pretend you have better food choices. When it's Saturday versus every other day of the week. I don't know, was that funny? I can't really tell. It was at least strange. So let's run some other images and see what we can get back. So let's just run with this guy eating hot dogs here. I know this is gonna be rude. I just know it. Okay, so look, <laughs> let's look at some Michael Scott jokes. Person in the image. Man, this hot dog is so big. It's almost too big for me to handle. No joke. That's what she said. Having some extra condiments sure helps it come alive that's what she said man i think i'm gonna stay here all day and savor this delicious hot dog that's what she said <laughs> yeah, that was quite good i like this one having some extra condiments sure helps it come alive that's what she said that was a good one i like that one okay so let's take a look at some memes here oh you think that hot dog is gonna fill you up is that a meme I don't think so. Growing up is no excuse for having bad manners. I guess that's better. When your date asks you why you order the cheapest thing on the menu. <laughs> that, that was okay. 
this guy nailed the face of someone who thinks eating a hot dog is actually a valid meal. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so this was quite funny. Not bad at all. Uh, let's do another one. This image I did actually create in Mid Journey. It's a picture of like a huge dog and its owner. So yeah, I can see it's working. Okay, so let's take a look at some of these memes here. I think they were very good. So most people heading on vacation don't bring the entire house. <laughs> what? Gotta love it when your dog expects you to carry his stuff on vacation. <laughs> yeah, that's good because she's carrying something. Uh, not everyone can fit into the family car. <laughs> that's very good. No dog sitting services offered in this vacation spot. Okay. Sometimes a mini vacation just isn't enough. That was rude. That was rude. But these were great. Uh, the Michael Scott joke didn't work out, but these were great. Uh, let's do one more on this memes thing. So I thought we had to go with this classic meme image here. So of course I removed the Michael Scott jokes. I don't think they are very appropriate for this image. So let's take a look at this. Using the fire hydrant like a fire starting flamethrower. Low key genius. Okay. Setting up your war zone like a pro. When you need a sidekick that won't snitch. That was a good one. Cause mayhem and get away with it like a beast. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah, the firefighters like it hot. Hot enough to combat a crime. I don't understand that. Let's do some more quick memes on this. When you lit the fire, but your buddy takes the credit. <laughs> okay, that was half good, I guess. Who needs to worry about stranger danger when you look for barbecue recipes in the dark? Okay. Party planning level pro. <laughs> when it's perfectly legal to skip the campfire circle if you're savvy enough. When your lighter is dead, but your baking game is on point. What? I don't understand that. <laughs> I might have something to do with the huge bonfire, I guess. Uh, okay, okay, I guess this was quite good. We could have done many more, but uh, yeah, it was quite funny. Okay, so let's move on to something more useful. So now let's try to get some art critiques. So I created this image in Mid Journey. It's just the true face of horror by Goya. So let's see if we can get some art critiques here. Okay, so we got something back here. Let's take a look. So we have art critique. This work is a truly captivating image, capturing the essence of a moment in time in remarkable detail. The artist has expertly used lighting to emphasize the woman. The menacing shadow that lurks in the background encouraged viewers to ponder on this moment. It is left to one's own interpretation. This piece of art is a stunning achievement. That was not bad. Okay. Not bad, let's move to the next one. Okay, so let's try to use computer vision to analyze the body language of a person. So here we have this guy sitting at, uh, I guess it's a McDonald's restaurant. He looks very happy and let's just see what the computer vision thinks of this. The man in the image appears to be calm and content, comfortable in his current setting. His smile gives an almost infectious feeling of cheerfulness and happiness. Wow, that's very good. The details within the scene matching the blue of his shirt and the surfboard. Okay, the surfboard. I can't see any surfboards. It's clear that he values his time in the moment and takes great joy in it. Okay, that was good. I'm gonna give that a pass. He give, his smiles gives an almost infectious feeling of cheerfulness and happiness. Perfect. Let's do another one. Next up, we have this picture of a woman and a guy sitting. I think they are eating some kind of food. Looks like strawberries. She looks very happy. He's a bit more difficult to spot. He looks like they might be a couple, I'm not sure, or friends. So let's see what he thinks here. This image shows the very content and relaxed nature of the relationship between two individuals. From the body language, it is clear that they are engaged in a comfortable conversation and comfortable with one another. The woman's hands gestures convey a confirmational and open attitude while her smile shows enjoyment and connection. Wow, that's good. Both individuals found in this moment a sense of emotional understanding that they can only come for being comfortable and connected with one another. Pretty much sums up the image. You could have quite maybe put more emphasis on that she looks very happy. But yeah, I think that was good. 
If you want to create scripts like we did in this video, you can check out my membership in the link below where we do step-by-step -step tutorials. We also have a GitHub access so you can download the scripts. Also, check out this video here if you want more of this stuff like we did today. And I wish you have a great day. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again in the next one.